Hello and welcome to part two of the note deck series in which I, a medical student, will be reviewing the brand new flashcard app, Note Decks. And if you haven't already, please do go and check out part one and then come back to part two to get a full demonstration and a full tutorial on all of the Note Decks features, plus the new web interface that will be coming very soon as well. So stay tuned and let's get on. Welcome back to another video from HSTV and um, thank you again to Notedex for sponsoring this part again as well and in this video there's so much more exciting stuff um, to come. I'll be going over all the features of Notedex, we'll be looking at everything that you can do to customise your flashcards and make them really good so that at least they're attractive enough to go and look at them and revise from them again. Um, so I'll be giving a full tutorial on that as well as that towards the end of the video I'll be going over uh, their new web interface which is going to be coming very soon so this will be like a premiere it will be a first look teaser um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy now all of this will be done on the tab s7 plus um, except the web interface which i'll show you on my pc and if you haven't already please do go and download note decks it's a great app it's a free download and you get a seven day trial but after that seven day trial you're gonna have to pay to get the full app and keep making cards on it so if you're watching this video, please do let me know if you would like a promo code worth $4.99 because that will get you the app for free and I have 20 of them. So first 20 people to get in touch with me either down in the comments, through the Instagram or through my email, I'll leave the description um, down in the description, um, will be able to get the app for free. So uh, yeah, I think I'm done talking now. Let's go and see what a Notedex is capable of. So first of all, let's start with how you can change the thumbnail of each of your stacks. So this is an anatomy stack, so I'm going to go and choose stack thumbnail. And I just had this picture, so I'm going to make that its thumbnail. And as well as that, I'm going to rename this stack um, called anatomy. And this is a great thing, there's so many customization options that we have. So anatomy, there we go. Now, other things that I just wanna go over and show you guys quickly um, are some of the settings that you can choose from. So if we go into the settings tab here, you can see that it says auto open new card. So that will just open up a new card every time you open the app. Um, study mode, um, we will talk more about that in a second. You can have groups, um, it's gonna sync by itself. Background color, I kind of showed you in the past video, um, but you can actually choose what color um, or what background you want so for example if I want to make my background um, like this again then I can have that and that's how my background will be although that's actually quite annoying so I'm just probably gonna go for a clear background like that and you can see it updates it and that's fine now one annoying thing that is there is that if you have a white background you can't actually read like your stack thing or your um, what number of stack this is because that was in white writing so maybe that's something that the app developers need to look into a little bit um, so I'm gonna actually change the uh, background color back to <laughs> what it was because now I can't read any of the writing maybe a black will actually work quite nicely because now we can read everything Okay, so let's open up this stack then, and as you can see here, I have made um, two cards. Now, when I made this card, you can see this is what it actually looks like, but unfortunately, for some reason, when I open it up, it's kind of been distorted a little bit. I'm not too sure what the reason for that is, but um, maybe it's like a syncing error or something. And I've encountered this problem a few times with the app, actually, it kind of glitches out on me sometimes. Um, but, I mean, saying that, it's nothing's happened with this card, and this card, um, has um, stayed absolutely fine. 
so maybe that is something that um, we need to be wary of when we're considering using this app so let me just start from scratch and show you all the options you have in creating a card so first of all you have many background colors to choose from um, you can choose any that you like depending on um, whatever you're doing now you can also import pictures now if i wanted to import this picture um, i can't move it around with my s pen so i have to be careful to do it with my finger and i can resize it now as you can see the resizing isn't fantastic because it can change the proportion so you just kind of have to be careful with how you do it and the other issue is that we cannot rotate the image and that's something i was very used to on doing on um, samsung notes but unfortunately can't really do it on this but saying that we have the option of putting in an image and it's much easier than other flashcard apps out there. Okay, so um, the other thing that I want to show you guys is, uh, let me just get rid of this image actually. So you can put in some templates for your card. So you can import your own templates um, or you can choose one of the ones that they've given you. So that kind of puts your background color back to white, but you can change it afterwards as well. Um, so I don't know if you want to have this kind of one and then we can change the background color and actually um, I've just found out now that you can't change the background color if you have a template um, so I guess that's a little minor picky thing from my side that I would actually quite like to do um, and I can't do that so maybe that's something else that the developers uh, should look into as you can see when I put the template back into um, no template then it's fine it can um, change the background color but unfortunately with the templates um, it's not letting me change the background color okay um, so then moving into this little thing that you can see here this little arrow that just means edit tags so you can add tags and we'll talk about that um, after as well in, in the pen features, we have um, three pens, as I showed you in the last video. You can change the uh, size of these pens and you can change the color of these pens as well. And you can see that the pens, you know, they work fairly well. There's not really a problem with them. Um, and you know they do the job now the highlighting tool I'm still trying to get a bit familiar with it's not fantastic because when I highlight something as you can see here um, it takes a while for it to become highlighted so I'll kind of go on and do my own little thing here and in the meantime it will highlight it so it takes a while for the highlight to become highlighted if that makes sense um, and as you can see it's just not as responsive as I want it to be so for example, in the meantime, if I'm gonna, oops, if I'm gonna import an image and um, I don't know, like, and that's the other thing, I can't actually move the image around if I'm in pen mode. So that was me trying to move it around and you can see that I've just put a massive line there. So let's get rid of this line. But if I go back off pen mode, first of all, you can see that that's now been highlighted. So um, before it was like, uh, oh, you can see th these are the kind of little glitches that I'm talking about. It sometimes just doesn't do what you want it to. So that's just kind of gone over there and that's not what I want. I think that's to do with the pan rejection not being brilliant. You can see that when I highlight here, that's what the highlighter looked like. But whereas when it's highlighted properly after a while, that's what it looks like there. So yeah, I mean, I guess that's something kind of a little bit annoying, I guess, but um, you know we can we can work with it it's not too bad so um let me actually clear this card so you can erase all your ink yes i want to get rid of that and i also want to get rid of this picture so i've gotten rid of that now in terms of the typing options we have plenty um i guess i'll just show you quickly as well you can make things bold you can um you know you can you have many options that you can choose from but this is basically just kind of ordinary stuff you find in other flashcard apps as well, nothing too exciting. The part that I want to focus on is the pen function, that's um, what I'm uh, most interested in. Now you can see here that you can get rid of this red line just by tapping this little um, line on the left hand side here and that's up to you again personal preference. The customization on this app is brilliant, it's just little um, like bug crashes maybe or little glitches here and there that um, make this app new I guess. So um, let's um, talk a bit about uh, sharing cards. So if I wanna share um, one card or if I wanna share a deck, let's talk about that. So if I just wanna go to this card here and I want to go ahead and share it, then I'm gonna share that and then you can see that I have many options to share it to someone. Now, 
The thing with this is the other person does not need note decks to be able to open the app. So that's a great quality that we have here. Um, and we'll talk a bit more about sharing when I show you a teaser of the web interface as well. Now, going into study mode then, you can go for shuffling cards, you can show back first, or you can keep score. So let's do the keep score option and start and see what happens. So you can see that you get um, a few options here. Um, you can get a tick, you can turn the card around, or you can um, say that you got it wrong. So say we got that right, and press the tick button and it will move on. Um, unfortunately, this card's been a bit distorted, as I told you earlier, but say we got that wrong. Well, um, that's gonna go in the wrong pile and say we got that right. So we'll do um, in the right pile. And you can see that it says you got two out of three right, 66%. Would you like to learn the one wrong card again? So in that case, I'm gonna say yes, and it will take me back to that card. And it's a kind of a good way of revision, not quite the repetitive revision that um, apps like Anki have, but you know, it's better than nothing. And I do like it that we have some sort of study mode in place. All right, so let me give you a quick little teaser of their new web interface. Now I'll be going into a more um, in-depth review of this in next week's video, so I uh, do keep a lookout for that. But for now, let me just show you briefly what it's looking like, and uh, hopefully it's gonna come out very, very soon, and you guys will be able to access it as well. All right, so let's go onto the Note Dex website just to show you a very, very quick sneak peek of the web app. I will be going into more detail about this in the next video and um, to show you everything you can do on the web app. And um, so you can see that it still says coming soon to Note Dex, so this really is a first look. Um, I've not had a look either myself, so um, in terms of logging in. I have logged into it and you can see that this um, has synced up very nicely. And going into our stack here, you can see that we have our two cards here as well. And um, you can add cards and you can go through them, but the handwritten feature will not be there anymore. So that's only exclusive to the tablet and phone version. Um, but I will be going through all of the different features that you have on the web app and how you can really maximize your use of note decks across different platforms in my next video, the third and final part of the note deck series. So then, I guess in terms of limitations of note text, things that I feel could be maybe improved on or things I feel just don't sit right. Um, one of them is the fact that we can't really rotate images yet. And this is something I know that the developers are looking into, but that would be a really nice feature because um, right now we have to save every image in landscape mode for it to be printed out properly onto the flashcard. So definitely rotating images, something that I do a lot of on Samsung some notes for example, something I'm very used to, I'm not able to do for uh, note decks, flashcards. So this is something I think that could be improved. Another thing that I think um, could be made a little bit better is just the fact that palm rejection isn't as good um, when we're making the flashcards. Um, so when I'm using the S Pen to handwrite things, the palm rejection isn't great. I don't know if maybe that's an error on my side or if there's maybe something I'm doing wrong, but on other platforms that I've used my S Pen on, I've never had that issue. So for example, again, on Samsung Notes, palm rejection is brilliant. I've never had any like streaky lines come up or anything like that. So I guess maybe this is something that Note Dex also needs to improve on. And I guess the only other thing that I would maybe improve on Note Dex is to have like a repetitive revision kind of mode. So I know that they have a study mode currently which keeps score and helps you to revise in that way, but something that could maybe um, randomize flashcards for you or maybe um, put up flashcards that you found difficult in the past and push back the ones that that you found easier, something like a system like that, kind of similar to what we see on Anki, um, so that our revision is more spaced out and our revision is a bit more effective. And that's all. Um, I think other than that, Notedex is still a brilliant app. Their concept is great. And for the majority of the features, they're really helpful and they all work really smoothly. Just little things here and there that I need to tweak up on. And I'm, I'm sure that the app will take off because it's a brilliant concept that I've not seen in any other flashcard app. So that is going to be the end of uh, this video, guys. Um, if you have enjoyed, do drop the video a like and as always um, tell me if you have any suggestions questions anything you want to say to me down in the comments and please don't forget to get your promo code as well first 20 people will be able to get one so uh, comment down below 
email me or follow the Instagram to get one. And I will see you all in the third part, the third and final part of the note deck series coming out next week. So until then, uh, stay tuned and goodbye.